on the level. Hey everyone, this is Britt here. Welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a, another art journal with me, episode 3. I have already pre gessoed my pages, and as you see here, I have started using my Heidi Swap miniature stencils. This is the circle stencil, and I am using a clear uh, paste from Ranger. And this is just going to add some dimension to my page. And this is the scalloped um, Heidi Swap miniature stencil that I'm using next. And really, I'm just placing um, this all over the pages. No rhyme or reason, just scattering it throughout the page. So I have to wait for the paste to dry, and meanwhile, I'm opening up my Daphne's Journal, which is a magazine that you can purchase online, or you can buy it from Barnes & Noble. And what catches my eye is the writing and the background of these pages. They have a somewhat of a uh, distressed-looking background, and um, I am using the words as a background for the images I'm drawing on them and I'm using I'm looking for three pages with a lot of writing and I am drawing three jars So what I'm going to do is use these jars as the main focal point in my art journal and I wanted to add a little bit more color so I'm using my uh, Tim Holtz crayons and these crayons are activated with water and you can see here I'm looking for a kind of glass um, stained look and so I'm using the blue, the purple, and the coral uh, distress crayon and I'm adding some water and then brushing like a little light um, wash over these shapes then I'm going to use my Tim Holtz medium and this is the crackle medium and so it's supposed to give an even more um, look of like stained glass so here I am using this medium to uh, cover the surface of all the jars and then I'm using my heat gun to make sure it is completely dried so that I could add some more to a bed shed. Here I'm going back with my Tim Holtz uh, crayons, distressed crayons and I am adding more dimension to my shapes by giving a little bit of shadow now this crackle paint allows me to write and kind of smudge over my shapes. So I'm grabbing my book and I just want to make sure that everything is dried before I move on. So I'm going to zap that with my heat gun. And then I'm going to pull out my acrylic paints and I'm using three different blue colors. I will put the, um, the colors in the description box below. But I'm going to mix these colors together to give it a nice blue distressed looking background. So I've waited for my page to dry and now I'm trying to figure out the placement of my jars. I decide to draw a um, like a table or a ground so my jars aren't just floating in the middle of the page and I finally figure out a way to place them together so now I'm going to be using my gel matte medium 
to stick them onto my page. And this is Gel Matte Medium from Dina Wakely. Next, I'm going to be using a couple of my Tim Holtz stamps to add some more interest to the background. I am using my archival uh, ink in the brown color, and I am just dispersing this uh, the different stamps all over the background. Next, I'm going to be using another Tim Holtz stamp, which is in uh, cursive writing and I'm going to be using a gray stamp pad it's an ombre stamp pad um, to kind of add even more interest then I'm using my infinite bar stamps and I'm going to be adding some bubbles to the to the tops of my jars and I'm using um, a paper that is, it's like a soft, uh, smooth surface paper that is used for stamping. And I'm going to use some Distress Stain in uh, the Orchid Grape color, if I'm not mistaken. And I'm going to dry it. And then I'm going to stamp in my archival black ink. And I'm going to be stamping different round shapes that have words and um, numbers in them. So it's it's pretty cool, interesting stamp. And you can buy this stamp set um, online at, on their website at Finnabar's website. I am doing the same. I am preparing my other two um, sheets of paper and then I'm going to be adding some butterflies. So I'm going to be cutting them out and adhering them to my page. And here you can see they've all been adhered. I've actually only adhered one wing of the butterfly to the jars so that it looks more 3D. And now I'm stamping my quote. My quote will read, live the life you imagine. I'm going to be using my new um, paint over pens by uh, Jane Davenport. And there you go. I'm pretty much finished. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this art journal with me. I hope you were inspired. And if you would like to leave any comments or um, even like give it a thumbs up that'd be greatly appreciated well i'll catch you next time thanks for watching bye